You are watching the One Truth Television Network, the Gospel Good News Channel. Stay tuned right here on this station for the best in gospel programming. We are the all-new One Truth Television Network. Don't mean that you're going to do everything right, but be honest with God. God, help me. See, God wants us to have a personal relationship. God, help me where I am. Lord, I need your help. They say you're all powerful. They teach me. I'm learning about you. I'm right here at the Red Sea. I'm going to see your powerful hand work in my life. Lord, I'm sincere about this thing. Lord, I messed it up. I said the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. Be honest. Don't go around trying to fool yourself. Be honest. Number four, how to stay on course. Be assured of God's reward. Be assured that God's going to reward you. When nobody's looking and you're doing good, when God tells you to go get somebody, put some money in an envelope, hold it up, don't put your name on it, don't tell them you gave to it, go stick it, on, stick it in their mailbox and don't say a word. But we want to get them testified. It's all about sites. I want to thank Prince Lord for being here. And I want to thank God because I can't, the Lord opened my heart to get somebody $50 and I put it all over and I stuck it in their mailbox. Because you want your reward, God will tell you to tell it. You know, you talk about the arms, give them from the given secret. Don't tell anybody what you're doing for somebody else. Just do what God tells you and He's going to do the reward. Understood. What I tell you, number four was be assured of God's reward. And I put it in a parenthesis, even if man does not reward you. See, a person of integrity is going to hold a good God to standards and they're going to do what's right. Even if man don't see it, even if man don't pat you on the back. See, that's what happened with people in the church. They're getting in all this church mess because they're doing things, trying to get the approval of the people in the leadership. Well, you ought to be doing what you're doing as unto the Lord. Praise the people yes. in leadership are fools. Praise the Lord. But you ought to be saying, I'm doing the best I can for the Lord. Honey, you are flying, honey. You doing all that over there in that church and that pastor. He got you working like a junkyard dog. <laughs> now, if you ain't doing it, you got the right motives, and you ain't doing it for the right thing, you say, you know what, you're right. He's sitting there talking about bringing him some more. I'm about to fix up his office nice. I need my living room need to be fixed up. <laughs> if you see well, what I'm saying, but when you got the right moments, Pastor, I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. I love the Lord. You know, the Lord has pressed in my heart to be faithful, to do what I'm supposed to do. And when somebody comes to you with that, you say, baby, you got the wrong way. I'm not even doing it for the pastor. See, you wrong. You blind. You need to see. People are the not waiting for somebody to preach you out of your sin when you are already saved. When you live waiting on you to get it right because you know to do right because you're a person of integrity. Lord, I, you know I'm, I want to stand before you right. Lord, you know we've been talking like this this week. I don't have to come wait until I come to church for the pastor to get me right. Yes, yes. The pastor comes and he speaks for the Lord, amen. And what I'm saying is, is that we got to have a relationship with God where we're people of integrity. I'm going to do right with it. Well, I'm, I came to Bible class. I passed by the church. But there's a lot of no cars there, so I kept on going. No, I'm coming about a place. I'm going to sit in the parking lot. If it's 630, 635, if nobody's here, I'm going to stand in because I'm a person of integrity. I'm going to do what's right. At least I stay in. I'm going to stay 15 minutes and they'll show up and I can go. But at least I did what's right. Lord, Lord, Lord. I'm talking about doing right no matter who else does. Right. See, what happens, a lot of people like to follow the crowd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are you mm. when no one's looking? Mm. Amen? So we have to be a person of honesty and integrity. Possessing right motives. Amen. Who are you when nobody's looking? As I first stated at the beginning, that's an ironic statement because God, and we saw all these scriptures, that God sees all. Yes. He knows all about us. So let's be real. Let's not fake and let's not phony. Amen. Let's be real. And not just to notice it, just to say you're being real, but to, well, I'm just real. I'm not there. Okay, what, okay, that's a good statement. But what are you doing about it if you're not there? Because you got the power of the Holy Ghost. You're supposed to have Holy, if you have the Holy Ghost, we need to come and pray with you so you can be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We need, you know, you got the power to say you are this one. Let's pray and lift our voices to the